Hey guys, congratulations for finishing your custom sports bra block. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to trace out your back band and your front pattern for your sports bra so that you can make a mock-up and start sewing. I started by drawing the center back line, which is straight, and I indicated that it should be placed on fold. That's the symbol for place on fold. And then I'm going to draw my waistband line using a dotted line because that is the sewing line. I'm going to mark where the notch for the back band ending is. Then I'm going to extend the line a bit and then add my one centimeter seam allowance. And then I'm going to draw the seam line for my wire line. And then I'm going to draw my shoulder straps. I will be using fold over elastic here so I didn't add seam allowance at the shoulder strap sides. I forgot to curve that so I just did that. And then I'm going to add one centimeter seam allowance at my shoulder strap. And then I'm going to add my one centimeter seam allowance at the side seam and draw um extend that by one centimeter past the notch to complete my back band seam allowances and that gives me my complete back band this is a t back i have a video on how you can make this eraser back back band and i will link it in the description box below now i'm going to trace out my front sports bra starting with the center front line and the waistband line I'm going to add my 1cm seam allowance at the waistband line and then I'm going to draw out the rest of the sports bra at the wire line. I'm going to mark the apex, make sure you mark the apex, drawing my neckline and drawing my shoulder seam. I'm going to add a 1cm seam allowance at the shoulder seam for the shoulder strap and then I Traced my seam allowance for the curve there at the side seam, and that completes my front sports bra pattern. Uh, my marker pen was out of ink. So, here you have a two piece sports bra pattern that's the front, and the other is the back. We're going to sew only those two side seams, and that will give us our sports bra for A cups and B cups, and in some cases. Uh, yeah so in case you don't have a lot of fabric you might want to split your back band into the back and the side only so what you're going to do is draw a dotted line at your des desired side seam and then you're going to add a 1cm seam allowance at the waistband and at the side and then you're going to grab another piece of paper and trace out your side block you can cut this out of some mesh fabric so that you have a mesh panel on your sports bra i am starting by tracing the sewing line at the waistband and then i'm marking the notch at the front and then i'm adding my 1 cm seam allowance and then i'm going to mark my side seam and then i'm going to draw my side seam for it connects to the back and add my 1 cm seam allowance and then I'm going to draw my 1cm seam allowance for the side and this will give me a side panel. So when you're sewing, you're going to place the back band on fold and cut one. You're going to cut two of your side panel and then you're going to cut one of your center front placing it on fold. And this is what the two patterns look like overlapped on our full back pattern. You can also decide not to do the curve and have a straight side for your sports bra if you want to. To do this, draw a line one centimeter from your wire line and then trace your front pattern. Add a seam allowance at the side seam, at the waist line and at the shoulder seam. And then trace your back pattern by adding your seam allowances at the side seam and the waist and the shoulder. And that will give you a sports bra pattern that has 
a straight line at the side seam instead of the curve like I showed you before and you're only going to sew two sides and they'll overlap there very easily and that will give you a side seam for your sports bra using only two patterns. I prefer the curved seam because it reminds me where the wireline is and I think it helps hold my boobs better. This has been how to cut your pattern so that you can sew a mock-up for your sports bra. If you're a C cup, D cup and above, the next episode is how to add fullness to your sports bra by creating a diagonal seam cup. I will link it below. Thank you so much for watching.